Hey friends, today we are going to learn what are pivot tables and how we can use pivot tables in Excel. The pivot tables are used to summarize and analyze complex and huge data just by drag and drop. We can summarize complex data instantly with help of pivot table. For example, here we have detailed information of vehicles our company has. This table contains information about maker or brand of vehicles, vehicle type, vehicle model, model year, plate number, purchase price of vehicle and depreciation. Let's say from this data we want to know that for all Volvo vehicles what is total purchase price and what is total depreciation. This information we can get instantly just by drag and drop with the help of pivot table. Let's say we want to know how many sedan, how many truck, how many pickup our company has. This information we can also get instantly with help of pivot table. Or let's say we want to know that for Renault how many sedan we have, for Mercedes how many truck, sedan, pickup we have. We want to know such information. Such information we can also get with help of pivot table. So let's begin our tutorial and let's see how we can summarize and analyze our data with help of pivot table. So let's begin. As we said, this is the data on which we are going to apply pivot table. So we need to click anywhere in this table. Then we need to go to insert tab in order to insert the pivot table. In insert tab, we have here two options. First option is pivot table and second is recommended pivot tables. This second option is actually recommendations from Excel that for this data, what kind of pivot tables you can create. Let's try this option. I will click on this recommended tables and it will give us a window of recommended pivot tables. You can see for example, the first recommended pivot table is it has summarized purchase price by maker. Hyundai we have total purchase price, this Mercedes we have this, Renault, Toyota, Volvo we have these purchase prices and this is total purchase price of these vehicles. Similarly it has a lot of recommendations. So we will just close and we will try our own pivot table that we can customize as per our requirements. So first of all when you are going to create pivot table you need to make sure that all of your table has the headings or all of your headers are complete let's say i will delete one of the headers then i will try creating pivot table it will show me the error it will not allow me to create pivot table i have been clicked anywhere in our data i will go to insert tab i will click on pivot table this will give me window pivot table i will go for ok and here we go you can see it shows error that's mean we need to complete our headers. So now we have all of our headers we can try again to create pivot table. In insert tab I will click on pivot table. We have this window first of all we need to see table range as we had selection anywhere in our table so it automatically selects the full of our data or table. The next thing that we need to see where we want to create pivot table new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. You can create pivot table here somewhere in the same worksheet we have original data. But for time being we will try creating pivot table in new worksheet. And then I will go for ok and you will see it has created a new worksheet where we can create our pivot table. In this pivot table if you see on the right side we have a window pivot table fields. In this pivot table fields, if we see here, we have different fields, maker, vehicle type, vehicle model, vehicle year, plate number, purchase price and depreciation. If I think for a while, these are the same fields or same headings we had in our original data. In our original data, we have the same headings, maker, vehicle type and so on. So here we have the same fields. If we see here down, here we have four different areas, filter, columns, rows, values. Here we can drop these fields to create customized pivot table. You can also pick and drop this window somewhere you want to drop. So I have brought it closer to our pivot table. Here our pivot table will be created. So as a starting point, let's say we want to see that 
how many makers are what are the maker our vehicles are i will just pick maker field and i will drop in rows area you will see that it has summarized that we have vehicles are makers of our vehicles are hyundai mercedes reno toyota volvo so you can see how by drag and drop it can it can instantly give you results now let's say we want to know okay these are the makers of vehicles we have we want to know okay for hyundai we have which type of vehicles we do we have pickup or no do we have truck or no so vehicle type we will just pick and drop in rows area again and you can see for hyundai we have pickup sedan but we don't have truck for mercedes we have truck only for reno we have sedan and so on now let's say we want to know okay for hyundai we have pickup and sedan but i want to know that how many pickups i have so i just need to pick up this vehicle field a vehicle type field and i will simply drag it in values you need to see that here it should be as i want to see how many that's mean i want to count so here should be count of vehicle type so you can see here for hyundai total we have 15 vehicles but if we break it down we have nine pickup and six sedan vehicles we have mercedes we have in total seven vehicles and all of those vehicles are the trucks similarly we have here summary of all the other makers or brands break down by vehicle type now let's say i want to know that okay let's say for these all vehicles i want to know how many vehicles for which model year so as i want to know model year i will just pick and drop in columns and here we go you can see here we have years 2013 14 till 2023 So for Hyundai we have in total 15 vehicles seven vehicles belongs to model 2013 eight vehicles belongs to 2023 if we break it down we have here pickups and sedan all six sedan belong to 2023 model pickup we have seven for 2013 model and two pickup we have of 2023 model similarly you can see how it has been summarized our data so we can analyze easily now let's say i want to know that okay for hyundai what is for all vehicles of hyundai what is total purchase price i will just pick all these fields and i will drag it back now you can see we have maker field in rows area and we can see all these makers are here and i want to know total purchase price of vehicles based on this maker or brands i will just pick this purchase price i will drop it here and you can see it has summed purchase price so that's mean it has been calculated as a sum for this maker type that we have this purchase price that we got from this maker type this purchase price from this maker type let's say we also want to know total depreciation i will just pick depreciation field and i will drop in values and we can just adjust it we can select and we can click on dollar sign and here we go you we have here purchase price and depreciation based on brand or maker type let's say i also want to see here the book value book value meaning purchase price minus depreciation i want to see that what is the balance value of these vehicles so as you can see we don't have here field that can show here balance or book value so we need to add here customized field yes in pivot table we can also create new fields that we need so to create new fields we simply need to go to pivot table analyze tab in this tab you need to go to fields items and sets we will click on this we can go to calculated fields and it will show us window of insert calculated fields as we said we want to add here a new column or field with name book value we can simply give name to this field book value then next we need to add here formula as we said we want to see the book value or balance value there will be purchase price minus depreciation so we can simply select here purchase price i will select i will click or insert field and we have field here minus depreciation i will click on depreciation i will click on insert field and you can see this new field will have this formula i will click on okay and here we go we have here a new customized field that we created in pivot table that is book value or the balance value of this vehicles you will also find the same field we have created in our pivot table fields window so we can just let's say we want to know with vehicle type it will work 
the same as we used to work in pivot table you can see it is showing us okay for pickup hyundai pickup we have this purchase price we have this depreciation and we have this book value now let's say we have a case we have had a new vehicle we have purchased a new vehicle we want to add here a new vehicle that's mean our original data source will be changed because we will be having here a new line let's say we add here a new line we have been purchased let's say a new vehicle of maker volvo that is pickup let's say the model type is let's say maybe anything maybe model year is 2023 maybe we can write plate number anything maybe price we can write 100 45,000 and the depreciation is zero now you can see for volvo we also have pickup but here in our original data we have only the truck we have been added here a new line that is not being reflected here so how we can update our original area or data area to update our data source we need to go to pivot table analyze option or tab we need to go to change data source we will click here and it will take us back to our original sheet we need to just add our original data or we need to select again our original data then we need to go for ok and you will see now our pivot table is updated and now we see in our pivot table we say let's say this purchase price is wrong we want to change this purchase price in our original data in place of 145,000 it should be 154,000 we have been updated our original information we have not added any new line or column we just have changed our original information you will see that pivot table doesn't reflect this change automatically so we need to update or we need to refresh our pivot table to refresh our pivot table in order to reflect changes in our pivot table we need to go to data tab in data tab you will see here option refresh all when we will refresh it you will see our information has been updated so in addition to this you can see now if we drag and drop it is reflecting this change instantly in case you have huge data you have a lot of fields maybe you prefer not to update this pivot table instantly first just you want to drag and drop and then you want to just update your pivot table so in that case you can just click on this option deferred layout update and then just you drag and drop whatever fields you want to drag and drop then you just click on update and it will show you your pivot table after update so you can just uncheck this option if you want to just activate again instant update in addition to summarizing data instantly pivot table also has different design options to design your pivot table differently you need to go to design tab and in design tab you will find a lot of design options here you can see we have subtotals based on maker let's say we don't want the subtotal we can simply go to subtotal option and can click on do not show subtotals and you will see subtotals are disappeared maybe you want to prefer having subtotal at bottom you can again go to subtotal and click on subtotals at bottom of group and you will see subtotals are bottom of group again let's say you want prefer subtotals at top you can go to subtotal and you can click on subtotals at, at top of group similarly you can add different grand totals and you can also remove grand totals you can change report layout for example let's say i want to put all these makers in this column and vehicle types in next column we can just go to report layout and we have here different options we can click on show in tabular form and you can see now vehicle type we have in next column and maker in one column we can just remove the sub total so we have our pivot table clear so you can also repeat here maker you can go to report report layout and repeat all item labels and here we go in addition to this you can also change color or look of your pivot table from this pivot table styles you can select any of the colors you can also add banded rows or banded columns you can also sort your data same as we can sort in our normal table so how we can sort our data let's say i have had this information that for hyundai we have this purchase price depreciation book value let's say the book value i want to sort from larger to smaller so i will just right click i will go to the sorting and then largest to smallest and here we go let's say i want to see this book value 
as a percentage this is 100% of book value let's say i want to see here okay what is percentage of book value of volvo in total so i will just right click here i will go to show values as let's say this is percentage of grand total here we have a lot of options whatever you want to use i will use here percentage of grand total and you can see here we have total 100% of book value out of this 100% 54% belongs to volvo 17% belongs to toyota and so on so friends this is the way how you can summarize and analyze your data instantly just by drag and drop with the help of pivot table i hope you like this video i hope you find this video informative and useful if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to press bell icon button also share this knowledge with your friends thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye